Hello everyone. This is a brief video to introduce the concept of the if-then statement in the Java programming language and to illustrate with examples how it works. I will also provide some good software engineering tips regarding its usage as well as point out several pitfalls and errors that beginner Java programmers may make. So let us begin. What is the if statement in Java? Well, the if statement executes a block of code only if the specified conditional expression is true. Okay? If the conditional expression is false, then the if-then block is skipped and execution continues with the rest of the program. So what's happening here? Well, let's look at the syntax. Here's the conditional expression. If this conditional expression evaluates to true, only then is the statement executed. Likewise, this is the second form. If this conditional expression is evaluated to true, only then are these statements executed. Why are there two syntax forms? Well, the first syntax form is only valid when there is one statement to be executed that is subject to the conditional expression. Where you have two or more statements that you want to be executed, if the conditional expression is true, then you must put the open and curly braces. They're mandatory at that point. Okay. Now be aware that the conditional expression must be a Boolean expression. What does that mean? Well, it must evaluate to a Boolean value. So the example code here I actually have here. Okay, so let's have a look. I've declared two variables, a and b. I've initialized a to 5 and b to 12. Okay, and our first conditional expression, if a is greater than b, okay, this evaluates to true or false. It doesn't evaluate to a number or to a float or to a string. Either 5 is greater than 12 or it is not. Now obviously in this case 5 is not greater than 12, so this conditional expression evaluates to false. Therefore, it immediately skips the end of the if block and begins execution after that. As it happens, we have another if statement here. So if a is less than b, in this case 5 is less than 12, so this conditional expression evaluates to true. Therefore, the statements inside the, tr the true block, the if block, are executed. And by the way, the if block is defined as everything, the statements inside the if block are defined as everything inside the open curly brace and the closed curly brace. So in this case, you've only one statement, which is a is less than b is printed out. So let's run this code. Okay, compile and run. And here we go. So my macro here saved the file, or rather saved it here. It changed to the appropriate directory where I have the file. And as you can see, it's C downloads. It ran the compiler, Java C. No error messages are printed out, which means it compiled successfully. It evoked the Java virtual machine by calling Java, and then it printed out the results. A is less than B. So, so far, that's good. And by the way, if you're wondering what exactly I did there, I've set up my Notepad++ editor with macros that allow me to compile and run Java programs all within the Notepad++ editor. And I have a video tutorial in my YouTube channel detailing step-by-step -step instructions how to do this. So if you wish to do this yourself, just check out my video. Okay, so that's fine. I'll just briefly reference another example. Um, in the online Java tutorial, um, there is a bicycle class demo, and one can imagine uh, an apply brakes method for this class. Now, it only makes sense to apply the brakes to a bicycle if the bike is already in motion. If the bike is stationary, obviously there's no need to apply the brakes, right? So, a, a sample apply brakes method may have an if statement that verifies that the bike is indeed moving before it reduces speed. If the bike is already stationary, then there's no need, obviously, to reduce speed, because speed would be zero. It's stationary. So there's a simple practical example of an if statement. OK. Now, some, some tips. Always use the open and curly braces. This is a very strong recommendation, even if there's only one statement to be executed. Why? Well, number one, it helps readability. And this is important. And secondly, if a second statement is later added to the then clause, a common mistake would be forgetting to add the newly required braces. Now, the problem with this type of error is it's not a syntax error, it's a logical error. So the compiler won't catch this error, meaning your program will not run uh, correctly. It'll run incorrectly. So I'm actually going to demonstrate this error right now, just so you see uh, what I'm referring to. So let's remove the open curly braces here. Okay. So technically, that's a valid program right now. We've only one statement here to be executed, therefore you don't need the open curly braces technically. But let's imagine I add a second line, okay, to be executed. And for simplicity, to differentiate it, I literally type extra line. So that's what should be uh, printed out. Now, 
I've indented it here, so the two of them are at the same level of indentation, which means these two statements logically should only be executed if this condition is true. So I'm now going to run the program. So is 5 greater than 12? Is A greater than B? Is 5 greater than 12? Obviously not. So these lines should not be run. Let's have a look and see what happens. Lo and behold, extra line is printed out. Why? Because only this statement pertains to the conditional expression. This statement here has no relevance to this expression here. But because we have indented it, it seems like it does. So to avoid this problem, always use the open and curly braces, which is the point I'm making here. So let me compile and run that now. And notice the extra line is now printed out. That will avoid an error trap that is quite common among beginners. OK. Um, another thing to point out is always indent the true block, which is what we've done here. See the way these two statements are indented in from the if? They're indented four spaces. You can either choose two or four spaces. That's up to you. But as long as you, you're consistent throughout your program, that's all that matters. Okay? Uh, and it's always good to line up the curly braces. Um, another style is to line up the curly braces like that, so that curly braces are directly under the eye. Now, that's a style matter. I prefer, as you can see, to put the open curly brace immediately uh, after the conditional expression in the same line, but the key point is is that the closed curly expression should directly be under the eye, as you can see here. Lastly, do not put a semicolon after the conditional expression, okay? Doing so indicates that the true block is empty and can cause a logical error at runtime. Well, let's actually demonstrate what I mean by that. Actually, just, okay. And let me just fix that there. Okay, so imagine we now, put, as you can see, let me just run this again so you can, you're actually, we're happy that the program does what it's meant to do. There you go. So A is not greater than B, therefore these two lines are not printed out. However, A is less than B, therefore this line is. Okay, now imagine I put a semicolon here. This would be a grave error because it would indicate that there is no true block. So this block of code here will be considered an independent block of code independent of this conditional statement, which means it will always be executed. And let me demonstrate that right now. Okay, compile and run. Now, as you can see, it prints out A is greater than B. A is greater than B. But A is clearly not greater than B. A is 5 and B is 12. 5 is not greater than 12. Well, because we have a semicolon, we indicated that there is no if true block. Therefore, this block of statements is executed. These two statements are executed regardless of what this Boolean expression evaluates to. So beware, do not put a conditional statement, a conditional, do not put, sorry, bigger pardon, a semicolon after the conditional expression. Okay, that's all I want to point out. I'll make another video tutorial describing the if then else statement. Thank you very much.